Well, hello, God bless you. And since this is the first Thursday night of 2022, I think it's appropriate for me to say to you, Happy New Year. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and my friends, I am so excited. Now, I'm going to try to tell you something without uh, 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 just getting so caught up. I just left the Acts 6 and 4 conference in Texarkana, Texas, at the Texarkana Convention Center with evangelist Jason Stidham uh, as the host, and I tell you, we had a tremendous move of God. God blessed us in a mighty way. We, we got back to Raleigh around midnight uh, um, uh, last night or this morning, and, and uh, God moved in a mighty way. The, the saints of God there in Texarkana, Texas, oh my, they were on fire for Jesus Christ. And I heard some of the finest preaching and teaching that I've ever heard in my life. And I was caught up in the glory of the God of the Bible. And I was in the midst of like-minded believers and we had church. I thank God for Brother Joshua and uh, his wife, Raven Garrison, who accompanied me there. Uh, Superintendent James Parker was there. And of course, the maestro himself, the elder Clarence Rayford was there on the organ. And we had church. The Lord blessed. We delivered the word that the Lord gave us to preach. The people were quite receptive. And I'm back in the saddle right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, and I'm excited about ministering the Word of the Lord here tonight. Now, I'm telling you, we're getting off to a fantastic start of 2022. You know, the word that God has given me is the word triumph. And I said to the saints, you cannot have a triumph. You can't have victory. You can't walk in this without having challenges, without the, there being a war, without the enemy trying to come against you. And I want you to know that Satan has already reared his ugly head and God is giving us victory over the devil. And I thank the Lord for the victory that God is giving us. Even in this time of the new variant Omicron and it is spreading and people uh, are going through, I want you to know that God's a keeper, God's a healer, God's a deliverer. And we're excited about being in church tonight. If you, if you uh, 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 are under the weather, and you know, a lot of people are, and one of the reasons that they are in, in North Carolina, and I know that this is viewed in other states than, than our state, but in North Carolina, uh, in the winter, when it's supposed to be 50, 46, 40, 38, 33, 30, 32 uh, degrees and colder, when you find that it is 80 degrees outside or 60 or 70 for a period of time, North Carolinians generally, especially black folk, we come down with colds, the sniffles and everything else. And it happens every time we have these, uh, these uh, uh, spurts. Uh, some people call them uh, Indian summers, but uh, it gets hot and, uh, and people, what happens is, People begin to dress for the weather versus for the season. And we're living in a day now where everything, no matter what it is, uh, it's COVID. So if you are sick, you have the sniffles and you're not feeling your best, please stay home. But the rest of us, praise the Lord, I cannot hardly wait to get to church tonight. I'm inviting you to join me here for the very first Sunday, first Thursdays, first Thursday of 2022. And uh, I got my Bibles here open, um, working on the message tonight that the Lord has given me. And I'm excited about ministering the word of the Lord to the people of God. My friends, this is going to be a year. And God's going to bless you. God's going to heal you. God's going to fill you with the Holy Ghost. The Lord is bringing things to pass that we have up before him. The Lord is still strong and mighty. He's mighty in battle. And for every believer, 
lift up your head, look up, praise God, get all excited because there is nothing that's going to come your way that if you follow Jesus and let him lead you, see, he's our victorious general. He's the one that's leading us in this parade of triumph. All we got to do is follow him. Follow him and stay prayerful. Follow him and uh, rejoice in him. Follow him and stay in the word of God. Stay in the Bible. And we're going to see a move of God like we've never seen it before. I just left the Acts 6 and 4 conference and I tell you, we had a mighty move of God. And here at the upper room, we're entering into our own in-house leadership conference and our theme is influence. Uh, uh, Elder Anthony Wilson does a tremendous job spearheading the conference. It's going to be the 13th, the 15th, and the 16th. That's the 13th, 15th, of, and the 16th of this month. And uh, God is going to bless us real good. Now, my friends, I'm excited. There are just so many things going on uh, here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ that's going on in North Carolina, third jurisdiction. Oh, my. Let me tell you, God is blessing our CFAD conference, the CFAD ministry, that movement uh, that God have given to superintendent, my chief of staff, superintendent Tommy Quick. It's caught on like fire. There are so many things that are going on throughout our jurisdiction, our women's department under the leadership of our jurisdictional supervisor, Mother Beverly DeJanae. Oh, God is blessing in a mighty way. The women's department is on fire here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Our youth ministry is on fire. I'm telling you that this year, and I can name some other things, and I will, I will, as the time go on, there are things that are going on. We're saving the lives of the unborn. We're working in the community, feeding the sick. We are praying to the God of the Bible. Nothing happens without prayer. We're excited about this coming year. We're not going to walk in fear and, and go somewhere and get in a closet and just get scared, scared to death. I'm determined that in 2022, we will not only here at the upper room and in North Carolina third and in the body of Christ, we will not simply exist but we are going to live. My goal is to live for as long as God blesses me to exist. Some people's goal is just existence. You know, they're hunkering down in the basement and uh, uh, in their, they're in bunkers and they're, they're, they're scared to breathe and scared to do this and scared to do that. Hey, man, that's not living. That's just existing. I want to live. I want to walk before the Lord, as David said, in the land of the living and, and carry out the work of the Lord and enjoy the bounty of the Lord and trust the God of the Bible. So meet me here tonight, tonight, if you can and you will, if you're able meet me right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. <laughs> you know, I, I chuckle every time I, I say that. I think about it. I mean, there's a whole lot of carrying on about Bible study, but I don't know what you could do greater than meeting to study the Bible, preach the Bible, walk in Scripture, and, and, and to sing the praises of God, and to pray, to pray, to pray to the God of the Bible. Pray to the God who answers prayer. He's more powerful than the CDC. He's more powerful than the pharmaceutical companies. He's more powerful than the U.S. government. He's more powerful than any world leader. He's more powerful than the devil. He's more powerful than sickness, disease. And man, I feel like preaching. I just I'm, I'm, I'm wrapping this up and you, you see me getting started again. Do you see what's happening? It's a new year. It's a new anointing. It's a new opportunity to serve the God of the Bible. I'll see you tonight. See, I'm calming down. 
I'm calming down. Garrett's going to take me off. He's going to end this before I take off again because I'm excited about what the Lord is doing. And I'm going to talk tonight about living the triumphant life. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be teaching on, the triumphant life. I'll see you tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Or those who can't be here, Thank you for joining me online from near and far. We got one of the greatest audiences in the world from near and far. Join me. Praise the Lord. We're taking in the word. I'll see you.